Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the things we need to know before going to a meteorite hunting adventure. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only, any information and images are taken from the article posted online. The solar system is full of meteors. These meteors fly around the solar system and sometimes collide into other celestial bodies, including the Earth. Some meteors burn up in the atmosphere and never make it to the surface of the Earth, but some do. Once a meteor lands on the Earth's surface, it is classified as a meteorite. If you are interested in owning one of these space treasures, you can go out and find them. You just need to know where to look, how to pinpoint a meteorite, and how to tell them apart from other rocks. If you're interested in starting meteorite hunting, here are some steps to get you started. 1. Research. Start by learning about meteorites, their characteristics, and how they are formed. Familiarize yourself with the different types of meteorites and their classifications. This knowledge will help you identify potential meteorites when you're out hunting. Note. There are three main type of meteorites. First is the iron meteorite. They consist mainly of iron nickel metal with small amounts of sulfide and carbide minerals. This meteorite are attracted to magnets. Second. Stony iron meteorite. These meteorites consist of almost equal parts iron nickel metal and silicate minerals including precious and semi-precious gemstones. These meteorite also is attracted to magnets. Third, stony meteorite. This is the most common type of meteorite. Stony meteorites are made of rock, sometimes small bits of iron, and are formed from the outer crust of an asteroid or planet. Some are attracted to magnets and some are don't. Two, obtain necessary permits and permissions. Before you begin hunting, check local laws and regulations regarding meteorite hunting. Some areas may require permits or permissions, especially if you plan to search on private property or protected land. Obtain any necessary permits and seek permission from landowners or authorities if required. It is important to have a permit before going meteorite hunting because it ensures that you are legally allowed to search for and collect meteorites in a particular area. Without a permit, you could potentially be trespassing on private property or violating regulations and laws related to collecting natural resources. In some cases, having a permit may also help to protect the environment and preserve important scientific information about the meteorites and their origins. Additionally, having a permit can help ensure that proper safety protocols are followed during the hunting process. 3. Choose appropriate locations. Look for areas with a high likelihood of finding meteorites. This can include meteorite impact sites, known strewn fields, or areas with a history of meteorite finds. Research online, join meteorite hunting forums, or consult with experienced hunters to identify potential locations. Scientists and meteorite enthusiasts keep up-to-date records of where they find meteorites. You can look online for databases, such as the Meteoritical Society's database, that show the areas that produce the most meteorite discoveries. Pinpointing the nearest, hot spot, for meteorites is a great start to finding your own. 4. Gather the right tools. Equip yourself with the necessary tools for meteorite hunting. This may include a metal detector, a strong magnet, a GPS device, a digging tool, gloves, and a bag or container for collecting potential finds. Consider investing in a meteorite hunting guidebook or app to assist you in your search. Remember, always think about your safety, wildlife are dangerous sometimes and to any biological hazards so be careful. 5. Practice proper field techniques. When you're out hunting, be observant and use proper techniques. Walk slowly. Scan the ground with your metal detector. And listen for any signals indicating the presence of metal. Use your magnet to check if the suspected meteorite is attracted to it. Take note of any unusual rocks or anomalies that may resemble meteorites. 6. Document your findings. If you come across a potential meteorite, document its location, take photographs, and note its characteristics. This information will be helpful for further analysis and identification. It's also a good practice to record any relevant environmental conditions or geological features in the area. 7. Consult with experts. If you're unsure about the authenticity or identification of a potential meteorite, consult with experts or experienced meteorite hunters. They can provide guidance, help with identification, and advise you on the next steps. In conclusion, to start meteorite hunting, equip yourself with basic knowledge, gather the necessary tools, 
research potential hunting locations, and always remember to seek permission before searching on private property. Remember, meteorite hunting can be a challenging and time-consuming activity. It requires patience, perseverance, and a keen eye. Always respect private property and follow local laws and regulations during your hunts. Happy hunting! Thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.